Okay. And that's that's pretty that's pretty lit, man, because uh, that'll give, like you said before, that gives players an extra uh, – um, monetiz- monetization boost, you know, mm-hmm. uh, other than just streaming, uh, just plainly streaming your, your, you know, your Madden experience or your Warzone experience or your uh, Call of Duty experiences or 2K. You know, it, it actually, I, I've seen guys just all day, all they do is wager all day, all day, all day right. long, man. And um, that's pretty dope, man, to actually have that option and, or this option available. And, um, yeah, why not make money off entertainment, right? Yeah. We um, we uh, we all love these games, and obviously, there's tons of other games that we have the opportunity to to pull into our ecosystem. But yeah, you know, why not? You know, on a game, you spend you know seventy, eighty bucks in some cases. Oh yeah, no, be able to, to make money. <laughs> one one twenty, yeah, yeah, depending on on what you're playing. And yeah. so, um, we've already had you know, I can't even count how many players that are making some serious, you know, money um, in many cases and sometimes making more money than they do at their day job. Right. Sure. And so, um, and we're at, you know, for us phase one. So we think we uh, not only can create uh, entertainment value around, mm-hmm. you know, wagering, but clearly there's going to be some folks that are adding to their household income. Right. And, and able to do some things that uh, help, uh, help their families. Right. So, Sure. How big that part of the equation will be, we'll see. But um, to your point, uh, you should be able to game and make money at the same time. Man, I seen a guy. He had, he was doing wages, and he had to be there for like thirteen hours. Okay, right. He had on his screen like a live update of how much money he made, and he when he ended the stream, he had eleven hundred dollars that he made that day from wagers. Man, yeah. Yeah, we had we had a guy we had a guy last week just last week just one example um i think in a week he paid 60 plus matches and i'll i'll say that he was well into the uh, over a thousand dollars in winnings and so um not everyone's going to be at you know that that side of the equation mm-hmm. but um it shows just from a average uh, amount of sessions and wagers and matches um we think the numbers can get dramatic um and and once again there's real people winning real money right. um, and so we think that's uh that's an important factor as are there any limitations to how much uh you can actually wager um is it a minimum or a maximum yeah, so we we've placed some some limits on ourselves, <laughs> and, uh, not not uh, you know from a you know a regulatory perspective uh, there there aren't um, you can wager as as little as a dollar okay right create a match for a dollar that'll be me um, yeah and we see people obviously do that when they're just kind of getting their feet wet yeah um, the average generally is like in the you know fifteen to twenty dollar range um, you know per per person in each match so create a $40, $50 match. Okay. Um, we've set, uh, I believe the limit right now is uh, uh, $300 right. that each person can wager. Um, and I think what we'll find over time is as we see how that um, that limit performs, we can, you know, up it or lower it. But that's something we've set as a, as a company. So is there skill uh, matchmaking? In the in the Call of Duty world, skill based matchmaking is like a like the dreaded phrase or the, the yeah. dreaded acronym. But yeah. in, in wagers, it's probably a good thing, right? If it's skill based yeah. matchmaking, right? So yeah. yeah, so we yeah we do have that. Not to cut you off. Sorry go about ahead. that. Um, now uh, yeah, we do have it. We we're running it uh, in our phase one, kind of in the background as we build up each player's skill levels. So we haven't exposed it yet. Okay. But we will we will expose that in a couple of different forms um, very shortly. Uh, we have our version of it. Uh, we think um, you know there's value in knowing you know a person's skill level in in COD, right. uh, obviously. But we also think there's extreme value in understanding not just their skill level in, in that particular game, but what are their kind of wager analytics and that that skill level as well, right? So if I'm a, you know, top tier cop player, but I only bet $2, 
that's not as interesting if I, I actually put some money up, right? right. And so there'll be, a, a, we have an algorithm that takes into a, a account uh, various factors and a few others that, that roll up to a really easy uh, visual so everyone can understand, you know, I'm you know, a pretty terrible COD player and don't <laughs> bet a lot in that match versus, you know, others who may, may uh, be different. That uh, said, um, you know, I play a lot of Madden. Okay. And, you know, and pretty good. I'm not going to say I'm great, but pretty good there. And so obviously I have a lot more confidence. So not only is my skill level probably higher there, mm -hmm. but my, you know, wagering pots or habits are, you know, probably larger as well. So, to, you know, it's always interesting to see um, what those, uh, those skill levels in our world look like um, in helping people pick the right folks to wager against. Okay.